So how long would it actually take for one of these type 1 diabetes cures from Vertex or Sana, Sana to finish their clinical trials and get FDA approval? For any drug, there's a lot of research and development that takes place for many years. This is what we call the preclinical stage, which may include testing in simulations or in animals. At that point, we enter the clinical trial stage, which tests the product on humans. There are three phases of clinical trials. Phase one trials are primarily for safety. They test the product on very few people, from a couple people to 100 people. This allows us to test whether or not the medication has any unexpected, undesired side effects. It also gives us an initial glimpse of how well the medication works and what optimal dosing might be for phase two, where we look at the efficacy of the product to make sure it's actually achieving what we want it to do. Phase two studies are a little bit larger, maybe up to a couple hundred. Phase three is the most important. Here, we look at the efficacy and safety of the drug in many people, up to maybe hundreds or thousands of people. Once that phase is done, the data is submitted to the FDA and they'll usually make their decision within a year or two. So from the time human testing begins, that's anywhere from 7 to 15 years. But keep in mind, that's assuming everything goes well and no major side effects occur. And it's important to remember that the two products that are farthest along are each only a half of the cure. VX880 requires lifelong immunosuppression, and UP421 requires human donor cells. A true cure would combine elements of both, be mass-producible, and avoid destruction by the immune system.